Hey guys, wanted to share something with you real quick about matching subwoofers and amplifiers. And now I'm sorry I don't have screen capture on my laptop, but I figured this would be a little bit more interesting than watching my face while I talk. So anyways, um, matching subwoofers and amps. Now right now I'm looking at buying uh, subwoofers and an amp right now for myself. So that's why this got brought back up. Now the reason um, I bring this up because a lot of people don't know that uh, what to look for when you're matching them together so basically you can either find the subs you want and then match it with the amp or vice versa um, usually I think finding the amp in your price range and then matching subs to it is much easier now um, it's all obviously up to you depending on how much money you have and uh, what you're willing to spend now right now I just said there's no budget for what I want so um, I mean under $250 but I'm still just gonna uh, try to see what comes so um, basically I decided I want around 500 watts oops that's not it yep nope, that's not it either there it is okay so I basically decided I want about 500 watt RMS at 2 ohm if you don't know about ohm ratings um, Maybe I'll post up another video. Just ask, and I'll I'll post up a video about how they rate them. But um, 500 watt RMS single channel. Uh, I like um, mono block D. Amplifiers for subwoofers. Now this one puts out 500 watts RMS. If you watch one of my other videos, I talk about how to calculate RMS or anything. The nice part is they give them to you here. The overview is very nice. Um, 320 watts RMS at 4 ohms and 500 watts RMS at 2 ohms. Now, people ask, you know, should I run at 1 ohm because that gives me the highest power. Uh, no, usually I would say run at 2 ohms. Some people say 4 ohms uh, gives you a little bit better sound. In my experience, just run with the 2 ohms. It's easiest to match, easiest to wire, and in the end of the day, uh, you should be happy with it. Now. Now that I've picked the amp that I want, um, I mean, it's not too bad of a price, and I know Rockford Fosgate is a um, pretty good company, and they're reliable, they get good ratings. Um, so I went over and I flipped through a ton of different subwoofers, and I want something that's 8 inches because I have a smaller car and I want to fit it in the hatchback. So basically, I scrolled through, and they have a nice uh, filter that you can use on Sonic Electronics and I went through and said I want something around this wattage and, and went down until I found something that said 250 watts. Now if you notice my amp is 500 watts at 2 ohms and this sub is 250 watts. Um, so basically I said well what the heck I'll, I'll get two of them. So 250 plus 250 equals 500. Now in my experience I prefer to match one to one ratio watts RMS for subs and watts RMS for amplifiers other people might tell you differently but so far I've yet to blow a sub and I've been running in pretty high wattage so I think the way I've been doing it's been okay now the thing is if you were to get the amp that I was talking about and go ahead and get these subs be careful if you buy a, a dual voice coil or single voice coil. Um, also, be careful if you're buying a 2 ohm, 4 ohm, or 8 ohm sub. Basically, uh, again, if you guys want to know more about that, uh, comment up and I can make another video on those type of ratings. But um, basically, make sure that your ohms match the amp that you're getting. So, this is well now I say that and now I want to take it back uh, because depending on the wiring the number you have in the dual voice coil uh, or single voice coil that will judge whether or not it will actually match this amp so let me try to make it simple here now 500 watts RMS at 2 ohms if you look at this and you scroll down those are ratings, features and specs dual voice coil and 2 ohms. Now, 
if we look at our wiring diagrams here, uh, if you go to crutchfield.com, they have a really nice, uh, very simple uh, wiring guide. And so if you look here, uh, so on the selections, you just go down to two subwoofers. I'm in the mono amplifier configuration, two subwoofers, and then go down and two, so number of speakers, dual voice coil, and each voice coil is rated for two ohm. So then we'll just pull this up and you can see that the load on the amp is 2 ohm which if we look here at my amp is 500 watts RMS so we know 500 watts RMS is produced here and we know each of these pull 250 at 2 ohms uh, actually it doesn't matter what the ohms are because it will always pull 250 so 2 ohms, 2 ohms, 2 ohms, 2 ohms, and 2 ohms here this is the one that matters is the, the subwoofer what the load is being pulled so, there's different options for wiring, obviously, but this is the one that pulls the correct load and matches the amp and the subs together perfectly. So if you have any more questions about wiring or questions about ohms or wattage or how that all works together, go ahead and shoot me a message. But um, the interesting thing after I did all that research was I actually started reading the names of what I was looking at buying. Be, lo and behold, this is a Rock, Rockford Fosgate, and these subs are Rockford Fosgate. So hopefully these will work well. Um, I'll let you guys know later how it goes. But um, yeah, so hopefully that helps you real quick in about, I guess, what, six and a half minutes. Um, give you an idea, at least when you're shopping around. Thanks for watching.